I've been a head strength conditioning coordinator and performance coach for the last 17 years. Performance training has been my passion all my life. I've been very, very fortunate to have been able to play football at every level imaginable, high school level, college level, and professional level. And through my experience, one thing has got me to, to excel at every level, and that's performance training and being great at what, what I do on a daily basis. Over the years, I've trained athletes from the age of seven-year-old all the way to the elite athlete. And I've gathered enough, enough information and knowledge to put together a comprehensive, strategically balanced program that will take your young athletes from step one to step two, step three, to being the best athlete he or she could possibly be. So let's get started. Getting a young athlete to understand their body is critical. If they have no body awareness and we put them in a particular drill that they're not ready to, to partake in, they're going to get injured or they're not going to be able to do it correctly and they're not and they're going to fail at that drill we need to take a go by a process of training that's going to incite those five areas that will then incite greater athleticism in terms of speed power and agility let's talk about sports performance training we hear a lot of coaches talk about sports performance training, a lot of individuals talk about sports performance training. But what is it truly? It's an area of, of training that significantly enhances speed, power, and agility. Those are your three pillars of athleticism. There's five major components to enhancing those three pillars of athleticism that we must focus on. And that's core and joint stabilization, mobility, coordination, flexibility, and balance. All encompassing one phrase, body awareness. Kids have got to understand body awareness and be in control of their body at all times. So we must work on those five areas to significantly enhance their speed, power, and agility. So let's get started on our dynamic warm-up. What is our dynamic warm-up? And go into each drill segment by segment and work on those areas. In this first segment, we're going to discuss how to get the body prepared for intense movement or competition. First thing we're going to do is talk about getting the body warmed up, getting the core body temperature to a point where we're, the body gets heated up. We're, work our, working, we're going to work on foot drills that are going to get that body warmed up and work the muscles through a full range of motion and start working on areas of development that we need to concentrate on in our warm up that will take us into our applied movement sessions. The first drill we're going to do, we're going to do a segment of line drills. The first, first thing we want to talk about is how to set up our line drills. From whether you have one athlete or 60 athletes, you can set this drill up by using your cones, spreading your cones out in five yard segments, five by five. And you can set them up on each hash mark, yard line or hash mark. You can expand the cones to go further down the yard lines so that you can get more kids involved. Then you're going to get your kids lined up on each cone. The coach will give a, give a command and we'll, we'll work the first movement. Our first drill is called the scissor switch. We're going to get the athlete on the line. We're going to place the athlete on the line with the right foot over the line, left foot behind the line. I'm going to keep my center of mass, my hips, right over this line. I want to start talking to the kids about several things that we want to work on in our applied movement session. One, keep the foot dorsiflexed or keep the ankle cocked. I want to produce a force off the ball of my foot. I don't want to be on my toes. I want to be on the ball of the foot. I want to keep my torso tall and braced. So I want to brace my midsection so I stay tall and spines neutral. Now from here, I'm not going to worry about my arms. I'm going to worry about my feet. I'm going to move from left to right and just switching my feet back and forth. The effort in this drill is about 60 to 75 percent because, again, we're just simply warming up on the drill. So on the coach's command, go. We're going to keep our toes straight ahead, hips and shoulders square. Be right here. And that's the scissor switch. 
Next drill we have for you in the line drill segment is what we call up, up, back, back. The athlete's going to stand with both toes directly behind the line. Again, we want to incite core bracing, neutral spine, and ankle dorsiflexion. And what we want to do is we want to produce a force off the ball of the foot. It's going to be up, up, back, back. So right, left, right, left. And we're going to proceed down the line. It's going to look something like this. And that's the up, up, back, back. Oh, 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 oh.